Hello, it's Miss Nicole from the South Fayette and Bridgeville Libraries, and I'm here today to give you another author and activity to do. Today, we're going to listen to the story, Dr. Seuss's ABC. It is a great alphabet book with the capitals and the lowercase letters, so you can see them. Um, and then you can see pictures and words of uh, that begin with those letters. So have fun watching Dr. Seuss's ABC and come back and I'll show you how to play a matching game with our alphabet letters. Okay. Okay, at my computer, I typed in ABC book by Dr. Seuss read aloud. And first I came up with all his book for sale at different places. So I scooched down and now there's a big one. That was pretty good. But I like this second one because it had um, some cute little piano music with it. And it's by Maria's Playtime Adventure. So it's about six, seven minutes long. So listen to it, look at all those letters and um, the words that begin um, with those letters and enjoy Dr. Seuss's ABC. We love that Dr. Seuss book. The reason I really like that Dr. Seuss ABC book is because it shows the capital and its lowercase partner letter. Um, he calls it big A or little a, big D, little D. Um, and I like how it shows both and how they have the same sound. So we're gonna play a um, alphabet matching game, kind of like memory concentration. So here's what you need. You're gonna need some dark colored, um, construction paper where you can fold it in half and half again and then in half so you're gonna end up having eight squares um, especially if you have a younger child if your child is older maybe you even want to cut it in half again but you're gonna need dark paper you're gonna need a black marker and you're gonna need scissors you might even need some baggies to hold your car so after you cut out your papers, which you're going to need 26, um, and then 26, so for the capitals and then the lower cases, but if you want to match capital to capital, you would have to make another set. If you want to match lowercase to lowercase, you have to make another set. So what I did is I only started with um, A, B, C, and D and I made all capitals, two A's, because that's what I wanna focus on with my child, capitals and capitals and knowing what they are. So you can put it out just like you would when you're playing memory upside down. Now I would not do 26 or, you know, um, all, it would be, what, 52 then if you use them all. Just break it into chunks. They don't even have to be the letters next to each other. And you just pick it up. Oh, I got a D. Let's pick up another one. I got a C. Make sure that the person you're playing with sees those before you flip them back. And the next person goes, C. I remember the C was over here. So make sure that your child tells you what letter that is. Also, if your child has mastered all the capitals, um, do it with lower cases now. Here are my two lowercase a's, my two lowercase d's. So you could have them match the um, lowercase d to the lowercase d. So I did get a d, let's pick up my other d. No, I got a b, but you could really talk about how they look similar and what's different about them. Flip them over and the next person goes, c and a. No, nope. so you can keep playing that. Now, if your child does know all of their capitals and all of their lower cases, they need to know which partners go together. So that means which capitals go with which lower case partners. So this is when you would need a set of all capitals and all lower cases, and you could play this way. So I don't want to use two lowercase a's. So I've got my D and I've got a lowercase D, a C and a B on my capital C. Good, I think I just need my lowercase C. All right, so I set those out 
and now we can play memory that way. Again, you wouldn't play all at once. And I've got a capital and I've got a lowercase, but they are not partners. So I've got to put them down and try to find the right one. Ooh, I picked up a capital A. I remember the lowercase A. So um, this is a great different way to practice your letters instead of just writing them or seeing them. You could even have them trace them. So you wanna make them pretty large on the card. So I got three baggies out. I'm gonna put my set of all capitals in here, maybe both sets of capitals. I'm gonna put my all lower cases in here, both sets. And over here, I might even make or take out one capital and one lowercase set. And this is good to throw in your purse or the diaper bag if you have smaller kids and just get out a few and see if you can try to find matching and identifying. So enjoy working with your letters and reading some more books, alphabet books, Dr. Seuss books, they're all great. And I'll see you next time.